one of my little clapper boards. Hi, I'm James Renwick. I'm a professor of physical geography at the School of Geography, Environment and Earth Sciences at Victoria University. So what are climate systems? What are climate systems? Well, the climate system is basically everything around us. So it's the air that we breathe, it's the oceans, how deep they are, how big the waves are, how warm they are. Uh, it's the land surface and what sort of vegetation it can support, so how dry this, the land is, how windy, how warm. Uh, it's the ice, so it's the ice sheets, the glaciers, the snow that falls, the rain. Basically everything in the environment is part of the climate system or is a climate system itself. How and why are climate systems changing? So the climate system is changing because the amount of energy in the system is changing. Um, all the energy in the climate, the weather, comes from the sun originally. So the brightness of the sun determines the temperature of the earth and how vigorous the winds are, you know, what the weather and the climate are like. The other factor in that is how much of the earth's heat that is radiated back out to space is captured in the atmosphere. And that's to do with the amount of greenhouse gases, you know, carbon dioxide, water vapour and all those things. More of those gases in the air means more of that infrared heat energy gets absorbed and then sent back down to the Earth's surface. So if you change the brightness of the sun, the amount of energy coming from the sun, or you change the amount of greenhouse gas in the air, then you end up changing the climate. And right now the sun isn't really changing much, it's actually got a wee bit dimmer in the last few years, last few decades, but the amount of greenhouse gas in the air is going up dramatically. It's nearly 50% higher, the amount of carbon dioxide in the air, uh, since the Industrial Revolution, and that means a really big change, a big increase in the amount of energy that gets uh, absorbed into the air and sent back down to the Earth's surface. So, so the climate system is warming up because there's more energy knocking around. What will this change in climate systems mean for humans? What does it mean for humans? Well, humans live in the environment. Uh, we live with the, the weather and the climate that we're used to. We live with the, the ocean being where we're used to it being, the coastlines being where they are. And all of those things are changing. So it means everything about the environment that we're used to is, is changing around us, under us, above us. So the oceans are getting deeper because they're getting warmer, because like anything, when you heat water, it expands. So the depth of the ocean goes up just because it's warmer. Plus ice is melting out of glaciers and ice sheets and so on. And that's putting more water into the ocean. So that makes it deeper as well. So the coastlines are starting to move and they're coming inland. Uh, so that means that we often live near the coast and we're going to have to shift. You know, the, the sea level globally hasn't really changed much for something like 10,000 years. Coming out of the last ice age, the um, sea levels around the world rose by over 100 metres. And then they stopped about, mm, yeah, eight or nine, 10,000 years ago. And until recently, they were basically static. The tide would go up and down every day, but where the coast was didn't change. So there are lots and lots of big cities all around the world, right by the coast. Now sea levels are rising again for the first time in thousands of years and we're going to have to shift. Um, other things are changing such as temperature, uh, so extremes of temperature, um, very hot days, the number of those, and the number of very cold days are changing all over the world. Uh, rainfall is changing, both how much it rains and, and whereabouts it rains is changing. and in the tropical regions where the monsoons happen there's more energy more moisture in the air so the rainfalls uh, are set to increase now already starting to increase in places uh, in the subtropical regions this is where the the deserts tend to be out at the edge of the tropics so you know australia sort of straddles the edge of the tropics so a lot of australia the interior is a big desert and that's just because of the latitude it sits at those desert regions are expanding a little bit and getting even drier than they were before. So if you're in that sort of 
latitude band between about the high 20s and the low 30s, around 30 degrees of latitude south or north where you are is probably getting drier. And then as you go to higher latitudes again, you go towards the poles, uh, again that idea that there's more moisture and a warmer atmosphere means that more rainfall and more chance of getting really heavy rainfall. So as the total amount of moisture in the air increases, it becomes easier and easier to get a really heavy rainfall event. And we know already that some of the big floods that have happened in New Zealand in the last few years, you can attribute, you can say that there is a climate change influence. You can't ever say that climate change caused a certain weather event or anything, an extreme event. But you can say that climate change made that event more severe than it would have been otherwise. And there's a lot of work going on around this now. And we know that some of the floods in New Zealand in the last five to ten years have been made worse because of the way the climate's changed already.